Now during winter, Kai has managed to get a few rips in his rugs, so I have to keep buying new ones. But wait, I found out that I can fix his rugs and save heaps of money using Rip Snorter. So Steve, when Kite's mucking around in his paddock, he gets a few rips in his rug like this one. I've heard that you can fix them. Yes, we can. I can show you how. How do you fix them? Simple. We have this product here. It's a two-part component. We have the reinforcing fabric and the repair compound. Yep. It's as simple. If you can use a brush, you can fix the tear. And I'll show yep. you how to do it. Generally, we cut it, the repair fabric, over the, the tear that you have. Generally, about that much of your thumb. Yep. So you just mark that out there. Once you've placed it in... On the, on the rug and you apply the masking tape all the way around. And that just gives you a nice square edge around to work in. Place one on the other side. Once you've done that, you can remove the repair fabric which you've cut before. Give it a bit of a shake. Yep. Open it up and it's just a brush. Put some product on the, on the brush and just simply apply it like you were brushing your kitchen table. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Like to have a go, Olivia? Okay. Don't be frightened. <laughs> so how does the product help repair the rip? What it does is, by using the repair fabric, is to remove the stress from where the tear has begun yep. and it moves it to the edge. That's the repair medium, which gives it its extra strength. Okay. Would you like to have a shot, Jake? Yeah, okay. No worries. Don't be frightened to put the product on. So what happens next? The next process is to apply the repair fabric over the top of the, the tear. This is the, the piece that you cut earlier. Yeah. Yep. You just simply place it over the area. Keep it as neat as you can. Or well, you can make it as ugly as you can if you like. <laughs> <laughs> just tamp that in. And then you just apply more of the product over the top. Is that all? That's all you have to do. Job's completed. All you need to do now is to remove the, the tape to reveal a nice straight edge. A nice neat finish. All right. Just wait for it to dry, put it back on the horse. How long does it take to dry? Generally overnight, 24 hours. But if you're in a hurry, you can force dry it with a hairdryer, as long as it's not too hot and you don't hold it too close. Okay. So it just dries by air movement. For more information, go to ripsnorter.com.au.